Naming acids. Yep, naming acids. Hi guys, Mr. Kane here. Hi guys, Mrs. Goswish here. All right, we're going to do some naming acids. Naming acids. We're on the fourth and final video of this unit. Nomenclature. This is kind of a category all its own, isn't it, Mr. Kane? It's and, kinda... in, and in some ways it fits into covalent bonding, right? Because... Yeah, but don't forget there are polytomics in there, too. Right. Uh, the bonds that are formed are, are covalent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the way we name them is different. Right. And the way we know and that we've got an acid is acids always produce hydrogen ions in water. So they always start with the formula with a hydrogen. Right. right? That hydrogen, Mr. Kane, for me, that symbol, it should have that. I didn't superscript it. So it should it. be superscripted. Yeah, so we please. should actually see the yeah. hydrogen ion look like right. that. Right. And that's going to be the arena's definition of acid. So and it's, when it's in water, a uh, hydrogen ion will be produced. Okay. So an acid is a molecule. All right, you got to fix With that more, one too. One or more hydrogen ions produced. Right. Right, attached. The rules for naming the acids depend on whether it's an the anion contains oxygen or doesn't. So right. there's there's going to be two types of acids. There's going to be oxy acids and then just binary oh, acids. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ooh, rules for naming acids. All right, let's see. If the anion does not contain oxygen, the yeah. acid is named with the prefix hydro. So these are binaries. Right, binaries up on top. All right. And so it starts with hydro, ends in ic, and the word acid. Right. So this would be hydrochloric yeah. acid. Right. Hydrocyanide. So hydrocyanic acid. acid. Yeah. And this is hydrosulfuric acid. Right. Right. Okay, so the big deal here is the hydro means that there's no oxygens in any of these. Right, not right. oxy anions. Notice these ones have oxygen anions in them, so they don't get a hydro. Correct. And then you can have your And so I just have to call it based on the anion. Right. You've got to be careful of the anion. This is the sulfate ion, so I call it sulfuric right. acid. Down here we've got the sulfite ion, I-T-E ending, and the ites get us yep. for acid. So this is sulfurous acid. So there's a way, there's a little mnemonic you can remember too. I ate something icky. I ate something icky. So I ate something, something icky. icky. So it's, uh, ah, I like that. I like that. If the oxy anion ends in a, the acid ends in ick. Phosphate, phosphoric. Right. Right. Steed acetate. Acetate. Acetic acid. Okay, I like that. That works pretty well. Because yeah. then when I have an ite, I'm not going to think about eating something icky. Right. Ites are oses. Ites, os. So nitrite, nitrous acid. Really, there's a limited number of acids available. So as long as you practice a little bit, I mean, it's not like we have a whole bag full of acids we can toss around. I just want to point something out here. Because the sulfate ion is two negative, it has two positive hydrogen ions. Yep. Because the phosphate ion has three negative charge, it needs three hydrogen ions. Yep. And acetate is a negative one, it needs only one hydrogen. So you're still using the balancing the charge to write the formulas, correct? Correct. Okay, so examples. Uh, so, all right. This the is binary, right? Binary. And this is the, f so because there's no oxygen. It's binary, so you start with hydro. Hydro. And then it's fluoric. And an acid. Only the binaries will have the hydro part. Right. Ah, I see a polyatomic. I right. recognize a polyatomic. This is the nitrate ion. Correct. So, so I, I ate something, something icky. icky. So it's going to be nitric acid. No hydro, because hydro is only for right. binaries. It's, it's, uh, this has ox. It's an oxy acid, yeah. so there's no hydro. Mr. King, what's Another the easiest way, way to recognize acids? That there's a hydrogen in the front of the uh, formula. Yep. formula? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another binary. This one is going to be hydro something because right. I don't see oxygen. Right. Uh, that's chlorine, so it's going to be chloric. Yep. 
and acid. This is pretty easy stuff. Ooh. That's... Ooh. See acid again, yeah? Uh-huh. But that's not the nitrate. Oh, so I can't write nitric? Nope. Uh, that is the nitrite polyatomic anion, so nitrous. Nitrous acid. Not to mention the fact we did nitric. Oh, this is true. One. We just did nitric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's go from name to formula now. Okay. So I see hydro. That means this is binary. Okay. So it's just going to be hydrogen with some other ion. Monatomic, Monatomic ion. ion. Yeah. Off the periodic table. Iodic is going to be iodine. Like iodine. Yeah. Right? It's going to be iodine. Iodine is a one, a negative one. Hydrogen is a positive one. I only need one of each. Hey, hi. 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 How are we doing, guys? Mr. Kane here. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, there's no hydro, so that means you're going to go to your polyatomic list for the anion, correct? So phosphoric, right. Um, so this is the phosphate. Ick, it's an icky. Yep. So phosphate. I ate something icky. Right. So I'm going to go with the PO4. Three minus. Three minus. Well, if I need if, if it's a three minus, that means I need three hydrogens. Yeah. Right. Right. So that's going to be my phosphoric acid. Yeah. Get rid of that charge in the formula, Mr. King. Yep. H three PO four. Okay. Ooh, no hydro. That means it's going to be a polyatomic. It's actually not an oxy acid. Uh, acetate is a polyatomic, however. Uh, C two H three O two one minus. And since it's only one minus, then just one H. One H. It's a C to get. That's vinegar. It's vinegar, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So does the anion contain oxygen? If no, we put a hydro in front of it, and we use the ic acid naming convention. If it does contain oxygen, then we check the ending. I ate something icky. Is over here. Uh huh. And it and us are over here. You know, again, the polyatomics kind of mess things up for us, don't they, Mr. Kane? Yeah, they seem to mess things up and make things a little bit more difficult. It's sure a lot easier, but oh well, what are you going to do? Can't get rid of them. End of nomenclature? End of nomenclature.